Hey there, welcome to Supercharge Fridays. This is week 75. We have the wonderful Jeff Young. Jeff, namaste. <laughs> hey, of course. How are you doing? <laughs> Lovely. I, I love the namaste angle and we're going to get into it in a second. And we have some wonderful things to talk about about LinkedIn. So this is a little bit meta talking about LinkedIn on LinkedIn, but you know, we both love this platform. It's uh, fun. <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hope everybody's well. I know there's always a bit of a delay. Come in, in the comments, uh, say hi so we know you're there because otherwise we're like talking to each other in a private Zoom conversation. As much as I like Jeff, I also want to know there's other people in the room. Uh, you know, I hope everyone is safe and well. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, hopefully, you know, there's summer happening. And if you're in Asia, there's a lot of summer happening. So come in into the chat and tell us where you are. Tell us how the weather is. And we're going to get cracking. So Jeff, very warm welcome to week 75 of Supercharge Fridays. Week 75. That is amazing. And thank you. Thank you so much, Sanal, for the, the opportunity to come and chat with you. I, I know we've done Zoom calls before, uh, but 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 uh, being actually on your live was, was something I hadn't really expected to do. But I am... Well, and I've seen so many of the people that I know on on your show that maybe somebody I don't know how did you how, because you and I connected way back in November. So how did you get wind of me? I mean, did someone else point you to to me, or or um, was it just because you you're were, you're visible you're, on LinkedIn, Jeff? You're kind of uh, you're, uh, you're 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 in that cool. A gang, you know what I mean? It's oh, like, you oh, said, you know, yeah, yeah. where's Jeff yeah. hanging out? And I was like, I, I couldn't send you an invite because you're one of those, if I can say, slight LinkedIn snobs because you need an email address. I so know. I found you on a chat okay. once. I found you on a live. I found you on a LinkedIn live. Okay. And I'm like, hey, Jeff, you want to connect with me? I'm also well, every, cool. Every, everybody you know, thinks that. It's not that I'm trying to be a, a snob. I'm just trying to eliminate all those in generic invitations. I'm messing with you. Changed, and I just changed something here recently. Uh, so, so you know, if, if people are really interested in, in connecting with me, go follow me, okay, which is a great way to see my content. And, and also, by the way, just take a look at my profile because you might find something that would help you connect with me there. Hint, hint, yeah. wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say hint, no. Hint, hink, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, listen, everybody. We know, I, I can see comments. I know that people are here. Hello, everybody. If you want to connect with Jeff at the end of this conversation because you're inspired and you will be, trust me, I can bet my bottom, <laughs> I can bet my bottom dollar on it. What you want to do is not send a generic, in, I, I say this all the time. I feel like I'm, you know, nagging. Um, see what you like about his profile. Say something very specific that stands out and then send a connection request. There's an intention behind it. And that's something that you want to do with everyone. But particularly with people like Jeff, who are like at a little higher uh, side of their connections, etc. They have to be a bit more um, picky. So fantastic, Jeff. So let's talk about everything to do with LinkedIn. And before we do that, we want to hear a little bit about your backstory and your um, fascination with the word uh, namaste, uh, which I, my yeah. Indian friends are going to love, you know, South Asian friends um, are going to love to hear. So yep. Jeff, take it away. Okay. We well, thank you. First of all, thank you so much. So now, namaste for, for, for having me on the show. Um, when you announced this show, you know, when you announced this show, you said it was going to be truckloads of fun and busloads of learning, and I'm all in for that. <laughs> I can't, I can't, you know, be, because uh, as, as I am actually, my background is I'm actually a, a recovering project manager, IT consultant uh, from many, many years ago. I've been retired for the last 13 years. Uh, and, and so as a part of that process, uh, I, I have uh, actually determined that my next chapter in life was actually to be what I really ended up finding out was my why, which is to be a teacher. I mean, about the last seven years that I was a consultant, IT consultant, I ended up teaching consultants about how to be consultants. I, f I found that I had more fun doing that uh, f than, than I did actually being one. Uh -huh. uh, so so I, I did that for Ernst & Young. Okay, and and by the way, Ernst and Young. Uh, most people have heard of Ernst and Young. I used to actually yes. introduce myself by saying, "Hi, I'm from Ernst and Young. No relation." Okay, but but it does get me oh, a good. Oh, Jeff Young, Ernst and Young. Uh, yeah, you but it does get me a good. But it does get me a good hotel room every once in a while. Okay, <laughs> because I'll walk into a hotel to check in, and they'll go, "Oh, Mr. Young from Ernst and Young, can we upgrade you to a suite?" And I'll go, 
Sure, no problem. Yeah. And my wife's maiden name is Ernst. Yeah, sure, sure. Ah, yes, okay, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's, it's a partnership. Well, actually it was a partnership. It was a partnership. So yeah. it's so nice to hear you're like, you're like normal. You're like one of us. You're like a recovering consultant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a poor kid from Columbus, Ohio. Okay, yeah. and when I retired, I decided I wanted to uh, continue to teach, and that's when I got into uh, being the LinkedIn guru because I started teaching LinkedIn. And you know, they call me the LinkedIn guru. I didn't call me myself that. Some of my people actually called me that in one of the seminars that I was doing. And when you look up guru in the dictionary, it says teacher. Yes. Okay? which is exactly the way I introduce myself sometimes as well. I say, hi, I'm a teacher, okay? What's your superpower, okay? Oh, my God! <laughs> I know. People, I, I didn't want to scare you by, by disrobing on the show. My eyes, my eyes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so you said bring your A game. I'm going to bring my oh, S you game. Sure you sure did. <laughs> you sure did. I'm waiting for the comments. <laughs> okay, so just a Jersey guy. Oh my god, we're gonna have so much fun with this. Yeah, yeah so, just a Jersey boy. I can it. So you're probably like, you know, there's the Indian connection. Probably in your previous life, you must have been a teacher or something. Oh, maybe. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not necessarily one who necessarily believes in reincarnation, but but becoming a teacher was exactly what I discovered was my why. Yeah. Uh, one of the people I quote all the time is Mark Twain. And yeah. uh, Mark Twain says there are two important days in your life. The first day is the day you're born. Born. The second day is the day you figure you out discover why. why. Yes. Exactly. And I discovered yes. my why and and got to do that for well and, and now I'm just teaching a different thing. Okay. Awesome. So awesome. As a guru, okay, um, I actually have a good friend in uh, and I'm I'm going to give her a shout out. Her, her name is Vatsala Shukla. Okay, okay. In India. Okay. Okay. And she was one of the first people that I connected with internationally. And she connected with me because I, you know, she saw the LinkedIn guru bit, right? And she said, you know, uh, uh, by the way, if you're a guru, you should say the word namaste. And yes. of course, it, be it became much more popular. I, I was popular in using namaste before it became fashionable because of COVID, okay? Because this was better than a handshake, right? So she said, well, I want you to understand that I use it all the time, too. It's a traditional Indian greeting. And she shipped me something that showed me the meaning of the, the meaning. Word namaste. Exactly. So tell us, the, tell us the meaning of namaste the to, meaning the of non, to the non-Hindi, um, non-South Asian viewers here. Well, well, from the standpoint of, of namaste, it is, again, a traditional Indian greeting. Okay, uh, It is basically saying, as a, as a sign of respect, that the spirit inside of me honors and Salutes. respects the spirit yes. inside of you yes and i went wow that yeah. is great i love yeah. it i'll take it I'll, you know yeah i gotta make it my own i gotta you know i gotta include that as a part of my brand now and you did also, by the way and you did that's yeah, your that's your brand yeah. a part of my brand is also coming up sometimes with acronyms Okay, yes. so when I said namaste, I said, well, if I can make an acronym out of this, maybe that would be good as well. So namaste became network and make all sorts of terrific energy, which yep. again, it's all about energy. It, 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 it's about that part of the process. So that's that's how that got started as well. Perfect. And, Fantastic. And I've been using it ever since. Oh my gosh, fantastic. It's a, it's a normal greeting for us in uh, in South Asia. It sorts it sounds fashionable, but you know, this is normal for us. So um, but I love the backstory here and, and what it means to you and how special it is to you. So when we're done with the live or if anybody can, or I'll do it uh, later, uh, tag uh, Batsala with uh, um, this backstory. I think she's going to enjoy um, hearing it again. I'm sure she's heard it many, many times. Uh, yes, she has. She and I talk pretty much on, on an almost daily basis. So. Exactly. And we're getting like fantastic comments about superpower, superpower being <laughs> coffee and like your t-shirt and you're like, whoa, your t-shirt is like uh, the high point of oh my goodness. Look at I think it's not just the high part of the episode. It's like the high part of my day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also so, have I also have a T-shirt that says I'm a T. I mean, it's it's got yeah. a T on it instead of an yeah. S. I'm yeah. a teacher. Yeah. What's your superpower? Fantastic! Okay. And yeah. I want to say hi to our lovely friends here, Ken and Kevin and oh my gosh, yes, and all. Sheel and and uh, so Me, many uh, Kevin, Kenneth, holy cow! You guys are here. Sajid is here in Toronto. Mm -hmm. It's like people from around the world. So guys, do give uh, Jeff Young 
with no affiliation to Ernst and Young, a uh, follow. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to connect, it's yeah. of intention. So let's get cracking on our topic today, uh, Jeff, which is all about LinkedIn and the anatomy. And it sounds like we're going to be doing some sort of surgery. Um, and it's a bit meta. We've done. I've done sessions before we, where we talk about LinkedIn on LinkedIn. I've done it with Kevin, I've done it with many others. And I did one last year with this sort of very massive LinkedIn personality who's got close to a million followers. And we talked about content creation. But every time we do it, I do it. I learn something new with, with the new guest. And I'm sure that's what we're going to do today. Yep. So let's get cracking. Uh, Jeff, for anyone here who is still not convinced, He's one of, he or she is one of the, you know, 99% that is very happy to put a little like and good post, very safe, very sweet. Tell that person, wake that person up about why it's a good idea to post on LinkedIn. Absolutely. All right. Well, you, you, when you shipped me a message about doing it this way, you said I dissected your article about, <laughs> yeah, pun definitely intended, yes. exactly, your article about anatomy of a post. And if anyone actually, honestly, if anyone actually wants to look at that article, all you really have to do is go out there and type that into Google, anatomy of a LinkedIn post, not great LinkedIn post, but anatomy after of the a live stream, post. After the live stream, yep. go to Google. And yep. what you want to do is you want to type out the exact words, anatomy of a LinkedIn post. And yep. when you do that, you're going to get the article. Yep, I, I tried it yesterday, and it's amazing. I mean, that's the coolest part about. It. Well, here's one of the reasons you want to. Here's one of the reasons you want to want to produce content, right? Yes, it's to get noticed, and Google is is a great place to get noticed. So you know, louder for the folks in the back. You know, why post in the first place? I I think first of all, again, let's go back to the to to the why. Okay. Yeah. Post in the first place because it is a part of helping you accomplish your goals on LinkedIn. Yes. Okay. You really should start with a goal in mind because if you don't, your posts won't have the right kind of focus. Okay. So it will help you do your goals. Okay. Secondly, you should post because you've got something of value to say. And a lot of people go, I don't know what to post. Yeah. Well, of course you know what to post. Post about what you know. Post yeah. about what you can have a conversation about because that's what you're trying to do is start a conversation with every single one of your posts. Okay? But why, Jeff? Why? I know some stuff. Everyone is posting. They look like a bunch of show-offs. Why do I need to do it? Well, you don't need to do it unless, again, it matches your goals. Unless and The one thing that, that is the I'm going to interrupt you for one second. Let's take a coordinated sip together. Hmm. Yes. You, you got to do it properly. You got to go like, mm, and you got to go. Ah. Let's every, if every, anyone's having a beverage, let's do this collective. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Was it? Cheers. Was exactly yes. Wonderful. So um, let those guys show off, Jeff. Why do we need to do it? We don't need to. Yes, I hear you. Why do I? Why, why is it a good idea? It's a good idea, from the, especially from the visibility standpoint. Why? I mean, look, why would you be on a social media platform? They don't call it social media for nothing, right? Yes. Okay. Why would you be on a social media platform without actually at least co contributing to that platform every yes. once in a while? And yes. you can contribute in other ways. That, that's one of the reasons why I say you don't have to post, but yes. it's much better when you do, okay? Bec because of the fact that you can contribute by doing comments and by doing, you know, and, and one of the things that, that that bugs me just like it bugs you is that people go out there and they, they can like, 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 and then they don't really enjoy the conversation. Okay. Yeah, and oh, yeah, by yeah. the way, if you're going to join the conversation and post content and or post comments, nice post is not a comment. No. <laughs> it's just another way of saying like. Wor even worse, Jeff, there's so many of us, and I know Kevin is one of them. I think he's one of them um, who think that comments like nice post, good post, well, they're bots. They're not even real people because yeah. there's uh, programming be. happening. So it could actually not only make you visible, but also make you visible for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah. You don't want, well, you and, don't want. and this is a platform, again, everybody in the past, people used to talk about LinkedIn being the platform about you were on LinkedIn when you were looking for a job. Well, sure, you're still, it's still that way, right? But it's become so much more than that now. It's a place where you can actually build a brand and build a business and sell 
if you know how to sell the right way instead of, you know, don't sell like this. Want to buy a watch? Okay. No, that's not selling on LinkedIn. That'll never work. Okay. Yeah. But, but you can sell by building a brand. Yeah. And, oh, there yeah. he is. Yes. Drive by comments. Drive by that's comments. Perfect. No, that's, that's really perfect. nice. Adam, and and exactly. Ariani, Ariani, you're you're absolutely wonderful. She's gone and done some detective work. You're Miss Sherlock Holmes. Thank you for sharing oh, that here with us. Thank you. People can definitely take advantage. Everything we're talking about here is going to be in that article, which Jeff has done with the very fabulous Stella De Silva, who happened to be on my podcast last week. That's so I am so happy I'm in these sort of circles with well, the right and, people. And, and, and newsflash, right? But right, that was about eight months ago. Okay. Yes. And, and that was the first and only article co collaboration that I've ever done. Newsflash. Stella and I have collaborated on a second article and it's coming out within the next few days. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Please, okay. can you tag me when you do that so that I, because uh, even though I subscribe to your newsletter, our notifications, yeah, yeah, notifications are awesome. Get a notification. So awesome. Which is so another thing I love people to do too. Subscribe. Exactly. What you don't want to do is drive by comments like Kevin says, hi, bye. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we don't, don't want to do that. And and Jeff, uh, Jeff, again, I know what you're going to say. Yep. How often? I figured out what I want to do, maybe a short little post, and we're going to get into the anatomy of it in just a minute. But how often? What do you think? Again, you're right. I have to give the consulting answer. I was a consultant all my life, and the consulting answer is? It depends. It depends. Exactly. It depends. Again, it's about your goals. It's about what you do. And I, I got to I gotta give it like this. Here's what I've seen and, and the way I teach it, okay? A lot of times when I'm up in front of a, a group and I'm actually saying, and I'm answering this question, I'll go, you know what? You can post once a minute, okay? Or you could post once a month. And I don't think either one of those is the right way to do this, okay? Too extreme, you mean? Exactly. And the, the, that's why it's too extreme. If you post once a minute, if I posted once a minute out there, every well, first of all, it quashes the post right before it because the algorithm doesn't even get a chance of doing anything. With yeah. It, okay? Secondly, though, it it is it has got to be noise. It's just too often to be anything but noise, and it should be about value, not noise. So if you post once a minute, somebody's going to look at your post, and then they're going to look at that next post, and then they're going to look at that next post, and they're going to go. Oh, for crying out loud, another post no. from Jeff Young? Shut this guy up, will you? I am going to unfollow. Like Exactly. Right exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then the opposite extreme of that is if you post once a month, there's absolutely no traction in that. Yeah. Okay. Now, the only way that the once a month post does work is if it is a newsletter because the newsletter has got this little special feature. Right. That right. Notifies people. But most of us do not have access about, to newsletters. Exactly. So we're talking about normal posts and normal people because there aren't that many people that have newsletters. So what is a normal frequency? Okay. Normal frequency is a frequency that works best for you to give what you want to give to your audience as value. Okay. So uh, I know people who actually do post once a day or maybe five times a week. They mm. post once every weekday. Mm. Okay, that's fine. As long as there's enough time in between each one, that's still an ongoing conversation. That's fine. And they have the time to post once uh, a day. Yes, because, again, that's the other thing. I Look, I'm the retired guy here, folks, and I don't have time to post every single day. I, I, got, time, I got time to be on LinkedIn and interact and talk with Kevin and talk with G and talk with all, you know, my, all my peeps. Okay, That's a great thing to do. But I don't have time to create a quality post every single day. So for me, mm -hmm. what has happened is that that has ended up being twice a week. Yep. Okay? Yeah. And I do post, I, I post, I post two different posts. I just posted my second post of the week. I post usually on a Sunday or Monday, mm -hmm. usually on a, a Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. So uh, there's time in between them, plenty of mm -hmm. time for them to get some traction. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, the, and I've got a theme for what I post. Doing something with a theme, well, like, funny enough, Supercharged Fridays, there's a theme for you, okay? Mm -hmm. So doing something with a theme will attract people who are interested in that particular topic. How, how do they find their theme? Because this is a great uh, question here, Jeff, and I love that you talked about themes because I love that as well. So yeah. Jarana says, "Do my po should my post relate to the professional side of things? Do I post about what I like? You know, is there a balance? What do you, th what do you think? I think both of those are valid posts, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, most of the time, I'm concentrating on what I am about professionally, mm -hmm. okay? Because I'm doing a LinkedIn tip. My, my, my Sunday, Monday post is the LinkedIn tip of the week, okay? 
But on Thursday, on Wednesday, Thursday, I've got a chance to get a little bit different and a little bit different flavor. So I post something called Guru Good News. And it's not <laughs> hashtag Guru Good News. It's another hashtag. one of my hashtags. Okay. So hashtag Guru Good News is a way of you finding that post as well. And it's not even usually about me. It's usually about somebody else. Okay. So for example, my, my Guru Good News post just yesterday was a post that I shared from somebody else that I know in the UK that made a wonderful video and a, a hugely hilarious joke about going back to being and meeting face to face. Yeah, got it, got it. So I think, so what you're saying is uh, to this particular uh, question, how often do you wanna post? Uh, it's up to you, do what works for you. I'm gonna go back and remember Jeff, when I had just become a mom, this is a very hilarious, uh, unrelated analogy, but I think it, it might help drive the point. Uh, I was like, how do I know, like, how often should I be changing? You know, like my, my baby hasn't, mm, you know, done number two. And, and how do I know it's unhealthy? It's a brand new baby, right? And you're, you don't know, you're, you're learning as you go along. There's no, there's a manual, but then you forget the manual when the baby's born. And I remember the, the pediatrician said, if it's once in 10 days or 10 times a day, it's a problem. There we go. Anything yep. else, you're good to go. So just remember this analogy and please, I am sorry for the visual. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's good to be regular, right? <laughs> it's good to be regular. It's good to be regular, slow and steady, you know, and, and I know consistency is one of uh, the things we're going to talk about. So one was how often, the other was when. And you got to experiment what Jeff is saying if if there's something on Sunday he's noticed, it gets the right conversations going. Yep. And something on one day of the week and another day. Of, you're not going to be like, oh, I did something on a Sunday. Nobody saw it. I'm not going to do it again. Yeah. Not again, enough. focus on your audience. When yep. is your audience there? You know, and, and my audience has actually become global. So that's yep. why sometimes my post is actually early on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Because early on a Sunday morning, some of my Australian peeps are still up. They're up. So you, yeah. you've got to focus on the audience, which part of the world they're in, if they're local, when are they hanging out on LinkedIn? Yeah. You're going you're gonna to find out. Awesome. So I'm seeing some questions here which are a little bit unrelated, uh, related to career and things like that. Guys, thank you for waiting. Uh, you can see we're talking about something a little bit different. So um, we're going to do our best in the last few minutes to address these in a very quick way because you know it's not really next week i will be live alone so i will definitely do my best to to help you out if it's something really urgent please put questions in capitals and we'll get uh to it towards the end if we have time okay um now talk to us about your tenets you have three tenets about um the post on linkedin yeah and the first is we, we all know content is king, but I, you have a different, you know, like you have a different spin on it. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen it in many different fashions. And again, I think part of part of making it your own is to add something to it. So so the way I saw it originally was that content is king and context is king Kong. OK. And and anyone who knows me, I, I guess to, to give it a, a bigger background, you talked about this a little bit earlier. If you look at my profile, you're going to see that I'm into seeds. OK, because I get paid in three C's, coffee, mm -hmm. conversation and occasionally chocolate. OK, mm -hmm. which, again, that's just me. That's 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 my C's. But I took that very same thing when it came to posting something and the anatomy of a post and said, I've got another three C's for you. OK, so, yes, content is king. Now, what that means is that, again, the content has to be something that you're knowledgeable enough to talk about. The content has to be something that is valuable to your audience, your tribe. Yes. You got to yeah. figure out what that is because otherwise you're just talking to yourself. That, that That's again, that doesn't get it done. That's the answer, Jarana, to your question. Something you know, you're knowledgeable about and something that your audience wants to know. Yes. That is the definition. Of so if you love cricket, okay, but your audience doesn't necessarily love cricket, uh, maybe yeah. not. Then you're going to hear, then you're going to hear crickets. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, very funny. Oh, uh, <laughs> outstanding. Thank you. That's Thank very you. great. Thank you. Um, Thank and talk to us about the next one, context. Okay. Now, so content, you know, valuable. It's got to be valuable. Okay. But it won't be valuable unless it's got the right context. So yes. content is king. Context is king. Kong. 
okay? And I love beating my chest with, you know, because that's the graphic that I use every time I do this, okay? Yep. Context, context is King Kong because it has to have some sort of context for your audience. It has to mean something. It has to be a subject that they're interested in talking about. Now, you know, occasionally what I will, I, I, look, uh, on Sunday last, okay, I posted about something that was a little bit more personal because I posted something about my father who is no longer with us. Father's so, Day for Father's yeah, Exactly. Day. But it was topical because yeah. people wanted to talk about Father's Day on Father's yeah. Day. Okay? Yeah. So normally that would have been my tip of the week. But that week I decided, nope, I'm going to talk about my dad and what my dad meant to me. And the fact yeah. that I lost my dad when I was a senior in high school. You know, And people wanted to talk about that. It was really, really interesting. So that had the right context for the day. Yeah. If I post that today, that probably wouldn't fly. No, I get that. And then, um, love it. Content is king. And, and a fantastic reminder, G, comments are queen. Ah. But wait, that's lovely. And wait, G, we've got more coming. There's there's king, there's queen, yep. and there's King Kong. And then the yep. final one is the mommy of King Kong. Oh, so. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Talk to us about consistency. Content is king. Okay, Context is King Kong. And consistency is King Kong's mother. Okay? I'm so scared. <laughs> and I you know, and I, yeah, King Kong's mother trumps King Kong. Hey, yeah, basically, sure. I mean, every time I do that, I, I I make a joke about it when I'm up in front of a crowd because I get this I get this mental picture of King Kong being ripped by his ear, going, "You're going over here today." Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so consistency being King Kong's mother is the yeah. fact that you have to be consistent from a brand perspective. You have to be consistent from a tone perspective. I mean, if you're going to post something, you have to be true to yourself and be consistent from that tone's perspective. You have to be consistent from a style perspective. Yep. And that, that'll, get us, that, that'll get us a little intro to what I talk about as far as the style is concerned, because I honestly do have, actually have a formula for what I do as far as a post is concerned, especially yeah. an article. And as a teacher, really that formula is quite simple. It's not rocket science, okay? The, the formula is tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. <laughs> It really helps. Tell them what you got to tell them. Uh -huh. Tell them, and then tell them that you told them. Yeah, it's Ex some, it's in a, yeah. in a summarize. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. That gives a person a, an idea of, of setting the mindset about what you're going to talk about. Okay. okay, then you actually do talk about it. Okay, and then at the end you summarize it because reinforcement is always good as well. You do this really, really well ah, yeah. because you're constantly coming back to something that someone else had said or something along those lines to reinforce what you've said before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going to repeat this. This is fabulous. It's a part of what we're going to do. Is this one of the things you were going to talk about when we talk about the main components of a LinkedIn post? Not, not necessarily. I not think necessarily. This applies, okay, there's, there's more coming. Applies, there's more coming. There's more coming. This uh, um, I love it. I'm going to repeat that. So you want to, <laughs> this is communication 101 that, yeah, yeah. that experts. And by the way, I like that. If you're an expert at something, others will call you that. You don't necessarily have to go out of your way and beat your chest about being an expert. No, Just no, like no. Jeff says, I'm the LinkedIn guru. It was a name given by someone. It sort of stuck. And now it's a part of me, right? Exactly. Um, even experts get this wrong. Tell them what you got to tell them. Then tell them the thing you want to say. Then tell them you told them. So it's like a you know intro, the main sort of yep. meat, the body conclusion, which so, needs to have repetition to reinforce exactly. the message. Because guess what? Eight seconds, goldfish. Six seconds, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's Absolutely. what Microsoft says. And yep. that was pre. This is like 2016 data. So this is like during the pandemic. We are like basically like. Jeff, did you oh. say something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That went down to about that many seconds instead of... Yeah, yeah, hours. exactly. And I love your three Cs. And Adam's like, oh, yeah, I'd also include a little Shabli or a Shabade <laughs> or a well, Charcuterie. Honestly, when Wait. I actually introduce myself that way, I say, oh, and by the way, Chardonnay is a really good C. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and repetition good. is so key. Adina, I love that you shared that. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. And um, there was a question here that I want to talk to you about, Jeff, before we move on. Um... Anis was saying, what are your thoughts on posting 70% in the main post and the rest in comments? I've seen some people oh, do that. What do you think yeah. of that? I, I don't think that that's the right way to do it. I, I, I mean, when we talk about the anatomy of a post, you'll see why everything can be done in, yeah. in, in an actual post. And when we're yeah. talking about posts, we're talking about the short form posts. Right? Yeah. 
And I know that you probably talked about other with other people, and maybe even Kevin, in terms of a short form post has now become a longer short form post. Okay, the, the, the short form posts used to be thirteen hundred characters. Now they're actually three thousand. Three thousand. If you can't get it done, and again, I, I'm not a fan of that because if you can't get your message across, if you can't get something meaningful done in thirteen hundred characters, I don't think the extra seventeen hundred is going to help you. Okay, you're rambling. Okay, so, yeah. so again. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think, Anis, the short answer is brevity is King Kong's uh, brother. There <laughs> we go. You're going to yeah. go with the, with the relatives yeah. analogy. It's just well, or, 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 again, the KISS principle, okay? Keep it, keep short it simple, and silly. Yeah. Yeah. And keep it as simple as possible because that yeah. way the message has got a much better chance of getting across. Perfect. Makes sense. And we have the lovely Shelly here. Do you think it's helpful to post certain content subjects on the same day of the week? So your audience knows to look for it at a certain time or does it not matter? And a quick shout out, Shelly. I think you do something on Mondays, which is related to the number of the day or the number of the week. I've become used to it because it's coming on Mondays. Um, but what do you think about that sort of, you know, Tuesday tip or, you know, Wednesday, um, yeah. I don't know, some alliteration or Wednesday motivation or whatever. What do you think of that? Well, again, that goes right back to the, the search for C, consistency. Okay? Uh, because when people yeah. actually start to notice that you're posting on a Monday, that's why my tip of the week is almost always on a Sunday, Monday. Okay. Yeah. And, and again, you know, and the theme helps with the consistency as well. But I think that's a great idea. It does matter. Now, yeah. here's the thing. I, I, I say this sometimes as well. You look, I can quote you all kinds of statistics. There have been all kinds of people who put together all kinds of stats about, oh, it's great to post on a Monday or it's not so good to post on a Friday or blah, 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 blah. OK, you know, just throw all that out the window because that's that's an average. OK. And, and by the way, the average depth, there's a there's a lake in in the United States that's very, very shallow. It's one of the Great Lakes. It's called Lake Erie. OK. Mm -hmm. And the quote is the, the average depth of Lake Erie is four feet but I wouldn't try walking across it if I were you, okay? So the point being, don't 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 put your hopes on averages. That's, you know, do oh, what works for you. because it's average and, okay, okay. Do what it. works okay. for you. Find yeah. that sweet spot, whatever that day might be, okay? Yeah, and because stick with it. Get, that's what you just stick with results. it. It's not easy to stick with it. So, uh, Shelly, I have not finished uh, anything, which is like, – Chunky paragraph, chunky paragraph, chunky. I am so tired. Like if I'm, because, you know, I think you need a mental state when you're opening a newsletter or an article, your brain has been told, get ready, big text coming. But when yeah. it's a, when it's a blooming blog, short form blog yeah, post, yeah. then it's like, it does not end. Yeah, I'm not. Look, yeah, I'm, look, at, look again, look at, I think a lot of people are reacting to it just like Shelly is right there. I've, no. ne I've never finished a 3,000 character No, post. I haven't finished it. I, I even like some people, and I'm like, dude, no, no. Well, I, <laughs> I can see where, I, and I've run into the limit, okay? The 1,300 character limit? Yeah. The 1,300 Help character me. limit It is such great training. Remove excess fat. Exactly. I, I skinny it down. I do what I need to do. You know, I, I, it would have been nice if they'd actually increased it maybe to like 1,500 characters. That would have that would have helped, but then I would have I, then I would have gone to fifteen hundred characters, and I'd run into that limit, and I'd still have to skinny it down. Yeah, right? exactly, so, exactly. So, you know, do the skinnying up front in the first place. Okay. Exactly. So hopefully, brevity is is definitely King Kong's brother. And now brevity let's talk about the com still. components of your um you know typical LinkedIn post. Talk to us about it. You know, let's do the surgery together and break it up for us. What does it uh, comprise of? All right. So. Um, and this is a this would be a great place if you want to try as we go through these we can do it uh, all of them and talk about all of them and then we can go illustrate them in your post would that be okay? okay. Absolutely. All right. So main components of a LinkedIn post. Uh, first of all, there are reasons for doing these because these are going to help your visibility. These are going to help so you basically again it's a it's to some degree a formula. Okay. So one of the first things that I talk about inside of a post. Okay. And Thank you. If you want to bring up your post, that would be great. You want to say a quick hello to yourself? Hello. hello. <laughs> There'll be a delay anyway. So I'm going to see <laughs> how, lame was, how lame was that? Um, you want to see something with text? You want to see something with image? No, Do you no care? The, one that you did, the one that you did um, um, before. Um, the, the one yesterday? Announce, to announce this, yeah. Okay, That's a perfect it. illustration. Okay. okay. So here's here's Sanal's post, and again, I can I can point out I'm, I'll talk about four or five different components. Thank you for making that a little bit larger. Um, 
so one of the first components is now you don't see it just yet, but she's got one of them in there. One of the first components of a of a of a, of a valuable the anatomy of a post is a branded hashtag. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now yours is down at the bottom. Okay? Mm-hmm. Your brand. I start with hashtag the LinkedIn guru every single one of my posts. I oh. lead with it. I put it up at the top. Okay. So Why? If, if you're looking at my last post, you're going to find the fact that that my last post is going to have every single one of my posts. That one included the one that's there in the. So it's both my LinkedIn guru and the guru good news. I lead with those. Okay. okay. Now, it doesn't matter where you put them as long as you put them. But again, it's a part of my formula to make sure that people are going to know who this is from because mm-hmm. they're going to see it exactly from me okay? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with that branded hashtag. So now. Um, but so, so you're saying you prefer, you prefer to put it at the beginning? I do. That's just, again, that's just my style. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as you put it, but okay. I do. So my, okay. see, so every single time I'm announcing it. All right. So now well, along with that, along with that, uh, hashtag, a branded hashtag, and we won't get into how you determine. You want to, are you okay with this one? Would, would you like to go back no, no, to no, my, that fine. I mean, this, okay. will, this will have everything I'm talking about. Okay. The, the next component is some sort of eye catching title. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, this one's not as good as some of the other ones that I've had, okay? Mm-hmm. This one's not as good as, well, actually go back to your post, please. Okay. Because okay. I, I, like, I like what you did on your post, the, the, the last one that we were talking about before. Okay, okay, sir, yes, sir, coming. Oh, coming. no, 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 that's okay. I mean, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for featuring my post, but, but, but what, I want, what I liked about your post was that when it comes up, it has the question, Yeah. what do I post and how often? Yeah, a lot of the title it do, it doesn't have to be a title, you know. It doesn't have to be in bold. It doesn't have to be big, you know, capital letters or anything along those lines. It just has to be something that catches people's attention and a asking headline? a question. A headline. Asking a question. Yeah, exactly. Asking asking a question is perfect like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, my my other post that that I did for the Guru Good News was one that said, "Are you are you ready to go back and, and get out in public again and start meeting people face to face again?" Okay. Because that was topical. That's what people are going to start talking about and have been talking about for a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that that headline, that eye-catching title, will will draw people in. It will engage them. It will actually be a way of finding your audience because those titles will, will bring people in to begin with. Because a lot of times, that's all you see is those first three lines of a post yeah. when you're yeah. scrolling down through. So yeah. that, that title is important. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go back because you just said something and I want to show people what you just said because it will make it um, it'll make it easier. Uh-huh. Uh, no, this is not working because it's on my own profile. But if I were to see like Jeff and if I see um, see all activity and then oh, I right. see posts like that. Right. Yep. So Anybody what, can go to those. What Jeff just said was, so let's take this example. Your first three lines matter because if they are gripping, the person will click on see more. And when the person clicks on see more, LinkedIn algorithm gets this notification. Ooh, something going on here. There's a party going on here. Let me tell more people about it. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly right. So that's why that headline is extremely important up there. Okay. So Mm -hmm. let's continue with the dissection of the um, anatomy. Branded hashtag. Make make it a hashtag. Make it a part of your brand. And every post should be about your brand. Every post should be... Be, be consistent with your brand, okay? Okay. And, and okay, so speaking of which, okay, the next lines in yours, I think this is great because it is consistent with your brand. I've seen you do it before. I love the fact that you're conversational. It's like you're having a conversation with me when I go and read one of your posts, okay? Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. but no one is reading. Screw it. I'm going to Instagram. <laughs> I think it's great that you actually said something like that. If you would say something like that in real life, then say it in your posts, Okay. You know, and, and I'm not saying that you need to drop f bombs everywhere. That's that's ridiculous. I but, did one on Wednesday, and I uh, put yeah, okay. I put the asterisk there, but it actually did really well. Okay, again, <laughs> to to make the point, you know, yes. and emphasize something. Okay, yes. it's just yes. a, it's just language, folks. Yes, you know, don't get hung up about the words, but but get the meaning behind the words. Yes, which is which is really more important. Okay, so now. One of the other things, scroll down a bit because this will be a part of it as well. The next thing that is in another component of, of a post is, keep going, okay, is an interesting graphic. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Ta-da! Have a graphic that actually brings people here and, and it's pretty easy for you to understand what's going on here, right? Yeah. We're going to be talking about the anatomy of great LinkedIn post. You know, let's study it with the guru. Let's study it with the teacher. Okay. Yeah, and, and again, you, 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 you put something there that has both of us and our yeah. smiling faces. The only thing yeah. better would have, would have been if you'd actually had me doing this okay, with my, <laughs> with my ass, ass on my <laughs> but that's perfectly fine. I mean, that, that's not, that one's not necessarily for prime time. That one's, that one's uh, just for special posts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The graphic um, is graphic is helpful. You're saying graphic it is, well, it's got all kinds of good information on it. Now, the graphic in 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 this case, the graphic is just for the show because yeah. none of the things that are here on this graphic are going to help you from a, a Google or an, analy uh, an analytics or SEO standpoint because it's a graphic. Yeah. It doesn't look inside the graphic. So that hashtag yeah. the LinkedIn grew doesn't isn't going to count. Okay, but there yeah. is another one where I I. I um, there's a graphic. I mean, it's oh, not. Yeah. Yeah. It's not okay. uh, about. Yeah, it's kind of about the post, but uh, it. I know that. Look at this. Um, Thirty-one thousand. It. It's something that you feel yeah. is giving the. You know, that's what you're saying. Something that is sort of explaining the picture in a thousand, uh, rather than a thousand yeah. words or a thousand characters. Um, people are like, "Hey, understood yeah. that point." Pictures worth a thousand words. Hey, when I when I. Again, it, it was a part, here's a way, is an illustration of a part of my brand and what I wanted to talk about it at the same time. On Sunday, when I did the Father's Day post, I had a picture of Darth Vader going. Yeah, you did. I am your father. Yes, you, know? you did. Yes, I, you did. I, it, I think people got it, okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's so it's ubiquitous. funny for me, uh, Jeff, one of your brand things, like, I mean, I know Jeff, of course, J-E-F-F, -F, and there's this. GIF, right? A lot of people say oh, GIF. Yeah. GIF. Yep. I say GIF. I mean, you're like GIF Jeff for me because you're all about <laughs> you're all about your GIFs. So for that me, you're like GIF brand. Jeff. <laughs> well, and that, that eye-catching graphic I, yeah. again. One of the reasons I favor GIFs is because they're moving, because it actually shows some motion, and that actually will catch people's eye as they're scrolling yeah. down through the homepage. Yeah. I have a question here, Jeff, because I don't always use my branded hashtag. I use it for certain occasions, but some people are like, you know, um, uh, Andy does LinkedIn or learning Learner Lounge with John Espin. I don't do that yeah, yeah, yeah. every single post. I know that's really good and it helps you get found. But the thought of going back and adding it now in uh, retrospect, I'm like, I couldn't be bothered. Does that really matter? You can't go very far back, but actually when I first started doing it, I actually did go back. Well, and remember, I'm only posting twice a week. Okay, mm -hmm. so in order for me to go back a month, I only I, a, a full month. All I got to do is go back to the last eight posts. Okay. So I actually did do that. I actually okay. said, "Wow, if I'm going to use hashtag the LinkedIn grew, I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to edit each of those last eight posts." And it's easy to find. You just go to your own post. You know, go to your activity and, and click on post, just like you okay. did before, and then scroll okay. down through and click the edit button on them. So right. I wouldn't go to the beginning of time. But you do have to go back, you know, it's a good idea to go back at least a little ways to, to get it started. Because yep. really that branded hashtag doesn't take effect immediately. It's not like you're going to get SEO on Google immediately once you start using this thing. You're going to yeah. have to get, you're going to have to get some traction for it. Yeah. So, so, so right now, for example, G has actually started using Go Golden, okay, yeah. As, yeah. as one of hers. And again, that's perfect. And it will have an effect. But yeah. it might not have had any effect yet. If you were to actually go out to Google and do a search, hashtag search for hashtag go golden, okay, mm. you might not find so much. Got it. Got oh, it. And, and by the way, one more thing about hashtags. This is, this is well, it's a part of namaste and it's part of me being inclusive and, and et cetera as well. One of the things that you might want to make sure that you do when you're using hashtags is just like G did there. G just saying it basically for every one of the words that's there, Make sure that the right capitalization is there. It's called camel case. Camel case, yes. Okay. Yes. But otherwise it becomes a bit illegible, especially well, it's, if early, it's easier to read for people, okay, who 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 can see it. Okay. It's also by the way, from an inclusive standpoint, if you have any of your peeps that happen to be hearing impaired, the reader, the screen reader, doesn't read it correctly unless you capitalize the words. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, so I that's see. the way of being inclusive to all of the people right. out there from all the right. standpoint of you know uh, of a post all the more yeah. reason all the more the reason work. camel case makes perfect sense so yep. fantastic and any uh anything else uh jeff related to the main components of a linkedin post well one more okay and you had it in yours as well okay yeah 
he's got to be there somewhere. You might even want to put it out there more than once, okay? But the, the post has to have some sort of, I'm sorry, it's another C, okay? Mm -hmm. CTA. Call, call to, to action. action. Ah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. this one, I remember. Comment below. What's you know? What's number yeah. five? Comment below. Yeah. That's all the action. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. of my posts will. My posts have always got a call to action at the end that says, "Hey, if you like what you see here, please go follow me." Okay? Yeah. And yeah. you know, go go click follow when you when you when you when you're done with this and follow what I've got to say on LinkedIn. So, so you're are you coming? That was yeah. The, I get exactly. it. That CTA. was your call to action on this one. And right, it's right, right. All right, fantastic. So these are great uh, tips for uh, the anatomy of a of a fantastic, um, you know, LinkedIn post. That and consistency is key, and that is where most of us give up, right, Jeff? And I like, guess hey, screw it, it's not working. I'm going to Instagram. <laughs> like, well, really, and, and here right. again, you know, it's it don't. There is no such thing as a silver bullet on LinkedIn. Okay. You, no it, matter you get, what they tell you, because they're nope. out to get you and they're going to, you know, shortcut. Nope. They're they, making a quick buck. You get rewarded for consistency. You get rewarded for endurance. OK. Yeah. And yeah. you have to put in the time to get and to get something back out of LinkedIn. But I yeah. will guarantee you this. I mean, it has been so valuable for me. I get more out of it every single day because I have put in the time. The yes, more you, you put have. in, the more you get back. It just yes, starts have. to work like that. Okay? Yes, you have. Absolutely. And, and again, you know, don't be afraid to try something, okay? And don't be afraid to change something. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, well, you, this may have been on one of your podcast, one of your LinkedIn lives, okay? Again, another person that I quote all the time is Einstein, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting, expecting a different outcome. Even different the job search do that all no, the exactly. time, okay? Exactly. So, you know, change something if it's not working. Try something new. Try something else. And and I'm always, you know, I'm, I'm always finding a new way to do something, which, again, uh, you know, even if it's, and there's, there's so many different types of posts as well. There's sharing a post. There's a poll. There is a text post by itself. There's a text post with an image. There's a writing an article post. There's a document post. There's a, uh, exactly. It, it goes on and on and on. Okay. And nobody can say here, um, in the audience, it doesn't work because you haven't tried all of those. You may have done one or two of one type of thing and you're like, screw it, I'm going to Instagram. Don't! I, I have nothing against Zuckerberg, but just give give Satya, give Satya Nadella a chance here. And that's what those, you know, the, the, doing stuff like this and, do, and being consistent like you are, you know, 75 Fridays in a row, okay? You know, somebody's taking notice. Exactly. I mean, you I deserve... don't know, Jeff. Honestly, like we would be, we talked about it backstage. I don't know if people notice. I honestly don't care. It's like one of those things that you gotta love the process, right? And, and and then anyone Absolutely. who's doing it, um, because you want an outcome, you have an expectation. It just sort of reduces the joy, of, yep. you know, out of the whole thing. So yep. I, I completely I, agree. I do it because I do get the, you know, I mean, everybody loves feedback. I do it because I do get the feedback and yeah, and most of the time that that feedback is positive and reinforcing kind of feedback. So, you know, I'll do it some more, but like, yeah. like we talked about backstage before, before I'll keep doing this until nobody's interested. And if nobody's interested, I'll take my toys and go someplace else. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> might throw a tantrum or two but after that i'll be fine you know, it's <laughs> yeah. okay it's okay so um i see a couple of comments we're going to come to an end uh, sadanand you just um caught us maybe towards the end watch the replay because we talked about it and to some extent jeff talked about it as well different types of posts that you know you've got to experiment and our friend tina is here consistency is everything do not come in with expectations mm -hmm. um and you know, you just got to do it, Navnath. And, and, and Nana has a lovely comment here. You got to try different things because this is the only way it's going to work. And we have Paul here. And lovely Kwan is here who was live with me last week in Chicago. Brilliant episode. We talked about uh, youngsters getting jobs without experience or, you know, not just youngsters, but anyone who's changing their careers. So definitely go back and watch that um, replay. Um, and before I just see a couple of other questions, I see that there were other sort of personal questions related to your career. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not going to be able to do that today. You either wait one week because I will be live next week or for half an hour or think about joining the Supercharged Club because honestly, there's only so many hours um, in a day we can talk about this. Um, and then see a question here from Shelly about 
polls. Um, yeah. My God, some half of them are related to food. <laughs> I know. And you drinks. Know. What are you? Are you? Are you vegan or are you not? Are you? Uh, 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 what do you think, Jeff? In your well, my microphone. Okay, in your so, in your professional opinion, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, speak into the mic, please. Well, here, here's the thing. Okay, LinkedIn is a tool. Okay, and the, the, a tool can be used for good, and a tool can be used for not so good. Okay. Personally, I'm not that big of a fan of polls. I know why. Pro, polls of well, uh, that's easy, easy for you. I need more coffee. Polls have proliferated. Yeah, <laughs> I know why they have proliferated because the algorithm supposedly loves them. Who cares? Okay, and the algorithm loves them because because there's a re there's a reason behind that, right? Kevin had talked about it some time ago. Well, well um, I don't remember exactly what he said. Uh. It, uh, it, 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 it probably has something to do with dwell time. It probably has something yeah. to do with, oh, I know what he said. I remember now. It, it Polls are actually giving an insight to LinkedIn about what you care about. Exactly. That was it. Okay. So, yeah. Your brother is watching. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. And it's a, and it's way, way past 1984. Believe me, folks. Okay. So, so, so I, I, I'm not a fan of, I, I participate in polls when I, when it, you know, piques my interest in, in that kind of stuff. But you know what? I haven't, I've done in the entire last three years, I think I've done maybe one or two polls. It's mm. great. I mean, variety is the spice of life. Try mm. it, okay? mm. uh, you know, et cetera. But, I feel I've done only one poll so far. There's nothing, I have nothing against polls, but I have, I don't like inane waste of time polls. I will just, if somebody likes them and they're in my connections or I'm like, why yeah. is this person like, you know, and I, I'm, I'm very, my, my, my news feed, Jeff, is so sacred, right? And I know you uh, value that as well. So if I see Absolutely. nonsense, religion, politics, uh, romance, it's just things that I feel doesn't really belong here on LinkedIn, yeah. I'm okay. very happy to unfollow that person. It just, you know, I feel like it's easier for my feed. I have nothing against religion, politics, or, or romance, but just not on my homepage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and, and, and Shelly, I'm, I'm sure Shelly knows this. But the whole point about, you know, tailoring your, 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 your homepage feed is that you can, okay? Exactly. But, you, but it takes time to do that as well. That doesn't happen overnight. You've, You've got to train the algorithm. I did a session with Kevin uh, a couple of uh, weeks yep. ago, and he showed us how to do that. So if you guys yep. go back to a few of my yep. – or you just do so, – hashtag. Ah, that's a good one. Just go to LinkedIn and do hashtag Supercharge Fridays and Kevin D. Turner. He's going to come in. Yep. So, so, so um, if, you're, if you're sick of polls, go, go out and tell LinkedIn, I don't want to see any more polls. Yeah, it's, exactly, it's exactly. You and and if, if uh, people aren't engaging with your post, obviously you're not going to go to their house with a bamboo stick. I know you're kidding. You got to figure out. You can't control that. I highly suggest you go and focus on your content and see what it is that you can do better. Or you know, if you know certain people, then tag them. Lately, there's a couple of people. Um, I can't remember which part of the world. I've been getting tagged. Uh, in these comments with 100 of them, 100. And good luck, like, where's Wally? I'm looking for my name. <laughs> I can't find that. I unfollowed that person. I mean, I don't even think I followed that person. I don't even know how they know me. So don't tag complete strangers. It's just exactly. not good exactly. form. Yep. Um, and also, even if you know them really well, I, I personally like to ask, there's a, you know, are you, are you okay with me? Because I think this is really relevant to you. And, and nobody has said no so far because they know it's quality coming out and not a horse cat video. Meow. Well, you make a good, you make a really good point because you know when when I went through my four components of LinkedIn post, a, a tag was not one of them. Okay, mm. I didn't bring up tags. Now there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, mm. if you know someone who would appreciate the post, if you know someone that you really want to continue the conversation with, etc. But I call it mention stuffing. Okay, mention you know, it, stuffing. it's like key, yeah, it's like keyword stuffing on a resume. It yeah. just doesn't work, folks. It no. it comes off as as being blatantly looking to you know to to go after the algorithm yeah 100 all right uh fantastic i'm gonna do a quick recap we talked about a lot of cool stuff today so first of all make sure you follow the linkedin guru himself uh, jeff jeff can you explain your mm. url yeah yeah um well jeff young is such a common name Right, which is, by the way, why another reason why I need hashtag the LinkedIn guru in order to show up on SEO. Because if you go looking for a Google search for Jeff, but you've been on LinkedIn since two thousand four, huh? You've been on yeah. LinkedIn since two thousand four, and That's yet correct. it's still common. 
well, and I could have changed it, but it was, yeah, it was, it was just a common name period. So I had to, you know, I had to do something other than that. Okay. And this is an important place where you can actually brand yourself a little bit if you want to. Yeah. But when I first started in 2004, okay, I was looking at the, you know, and, and getting, getting myself into the mode of, okay, when I really retired in 2008, okay, I went looking and, and, and made sure that I, I updated my profile to, to have this, the, instead of the gobbledygook numbers and letters you know, that you have at the end, I updated it. And I updated it with, of course, an acronym. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's Jeff Young. Retired and loving every minute of it. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking this French because it's like in, I mean, Tina's watching. Chale moi. I'm like, what? Like you're trying to tell someone? Everybody thinks it's French or something. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. But so, and, and um, now sure I've used you... it for so long, and well, yeah. and you usually you you put that link everywhere else you want to get found, right? Yeah. So now I've used that link for so long, I don't really want to go changing it because I no. don't know where else I would actually have to go to change it. It's so much. No, awesome. exactly, it's, exactly. No, it's 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 cool, <laughs> and and this is another addition in case somebody's watching and doesn't know about it. Make sure you customize your URL. You can Absolutely. click on it, like literally click on your photo, click on you know your, and then in the settings you're gonna see it. Um, so you're not like, you know, somebody with 1 million uh, digits after your name. Yep. So uh, fantastic. So we talked about so many different things. Please follow Jeff. We talked about the entire anatomy. We talked about why do you want, you know, why is it a good idea to post on LinkedIn? Hopefully we were loud enough for the back ventures there. I see you. <laughs> How often, when, and content is everything. Content is king. Um, like our friend G says, comments are queen. Context is King Kong. I'm just picturing this gigantic ape right now. And this gigantic ape's mom is not pleased. If you forget about context out of the blue, not sorry, context, consistency, she's coming and and um it's like you and have yank no you back into line. Yank you back, you have no business complaining. <laughs> right. So and then we talked about the you know details about the LinkedIn post with the headlines, etc. So this was so useful and so much fun. Everyone's like, wow, thank you so much. Uh, you know, Friday doors of infotainment Wonderful. as thank always. You. Expected nothing less from the brilliant super hero. <laughs> Jeff himself. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. You know, you could be in so many different places. And the fact that you chose to spend some time with us here on Friday means a lot. So thank you very much. And next week, I will be live um, by myself. So all the career questions, bring them on. I'm going to bring my extra dose of tea. And uh, with that said, take care, everybody. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks again, Jeff. This was so much fun. Thank you, Sano. Namaste. I've been looking forward to this for a long period of time. And it, I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it with my Indian accent. So I'm going to be namaste, namaste, Jeff. Namaste. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Take care.